Corp Horizon. <laughs> Happiness doesn't exist. My Birklan, Fennec Mike, and Ike Arithmetic. I'm improving. I'm improving. So, for example, the first track, the first track, it's it's called Raised by the Internet. Damn, just that title get really gets close to home. Actually, I'm not saying it's inherently a bad thing, um, or not, but you know, it has a lot of implications to be raised by the internet, and all, there are a lot of memories that you can attach to. Uh, phrase like that, you know, spending a lot of time in the computer or the phones, all the samples that come from the memories of all these little bits and pieces and songs we have heard. Naturally, in this track, we start to, with these rhythms, but slowly around the end of the song, the atmosphere turns to be slightly melancholic. There is this low, low lake low in the mix, hidden sadness, with the beat and the samples being a bit and happy. So the samples in this album are, I'm not really sure, I, sometimes I think it can be metalcore or pop punk, but is that pop punk and metalcore that adds that melancholy to the music? You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Mm. Uh, like, the, the, those are kind of sad genres. This is something particularly special because I don't usually hear this kind of emotional depth that much in mashcore. I mean, sure, I'm not well versed in the whole mild mashcore genre, but you get the idea it's more like party banging music, you know? But here, there is some emotional layering to it. See? See? I said in my previous review that I will use that sentence again, and here I am. But it makes sense, because when you like your different emotions in songs, you are painting a painting of emotion. Like, like, you know what I mean? And there, there is an art to it because you just can't put like a you know, sad melody and a happy melody and hope it makes sense the first time, right? You know, kind of like there are also a lot of samples of this kind of internet culture and even I have even I have recognized some myself. I say, yeah yeah, that was a thing, right? You usually have the idea that sad is oh sad is no energy. But there are genres that can capture really well the experience of sadness with such intensity and the idea of sadness with intensity is fascinating. It's fascinating to me. There is, you know, metal, me, melodic metalcore that can do this as well. Although melodic metalcore also has a lot of anger too. You have a a a a a a o r a o r that can be sad, but anthemic as well. So it's a very nice combination. And with mashcore, there is a playfulness to the music. You know, it's been like. <laughs> And even more with the samples that are both playful in their nature, like a sample of a meme that happened years ago or of a show, but that can get melancholic, melan melancholic, since they are attached to all these memories of living along with the internet, all the laughs that you have gone through. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful. The fifth track, the fifth track, um, it has a really gentle melody and even more gentle rhythm. So even when the beats, I mean, even when the beats are and the samples are going overboard there, here and there and there, here, and you've been every channel and over the song, the song is just charming. And there is a sample in the second half of the third minute that just seamlessly joins together with the song. It's a beautiful track. You have to listen to it. I think that this last half, the fifth song, is one of my favorites in moments in the whole record because I mean, it's how, how the EDM beats mesh with the piano solo just feels surreal. There is a song I really like that also meshes stuff like this called The Riddle by Gigi. Gigi um, 
Gigi, mas é sério. The other parts that give you all this emotion when you blend the the intensity with the emotional part. To me, to me, that is the face of genius. Face of genius. Yeah, the 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 face of gen the face of genius. It makes sense. So the six and seven tracks take the the whole sadness, the whole sadness, and adds they add some hope, some hope into it. I don't know if you can call that hope. I mean, it's not hope for the future, but a hope for the past. Is that a thing? I don't know. You just want to make sure that the past makes peace with itself. Hope for the past instead of hope for the future. That is. That is really an interesting thought. The final track, the final track, might be the most emotionally gripping of all the tracks. Uh, my favorite song of the record, but I can't really explain why. It just feels sweet. So yeah, this record just came to me as really exceptional, really exceptional, exceptional, really exceptional. At first, I admit, at first, I was, I didn't want to attach myself too much to it because I said, this record is a bit nostalgia heavy and I personally don't like to deal with nostalgia too much because I don't want to stay in the past and say, the times of before were better than the times of now. People idealize childhood a lot and that's not something I can really relate to. Yeah, he said, okay, this is a nostalgia record, and I get it, but maybe it's not really my thing, but I realized it's not really nostalgia, it's coming of age. Remember when David Bowie said that the internet was going to become this huge thing we couldn't even expect? We are still just seeing the beginnings of that. So yeah, it got me thinking. It got me not just feeling, but also thinking about what all this means at the long run. I like records that, you know, they are like an emotional cake. They have the happy layer, the sad layer, the wistful layer, the hope layer, the subconscious layer, the <laughs> layer. Anyway, this record is Sweet Bubblegum. That's going to be the rating for this thing. And that's it. I I enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy it as well because it's a whole cake. It's a whole cake. I like cakes. And you know, when I started to record video reviews of stuff, I didn't know what was going to get. I didn't know what to expect, but I have got several records that take these different um, genres that you won't, you don't associate with emotion, and they put a lot of heart and emotion to it. We had some thunderphonics, dark ambient with a lot of emotion, but we we had a vaporwave record as well. We had a IDM with post rock as well with emotion and now we have mashcore so I just find it beautiful how we can deconstruct these genres and make them shine so I hope that you keep making great music everybody yeah that 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 could be my the thing that completes my greeting at the end yeah, we can test it out. So, goodbye, my beautiful soul. <clears throat> so, goodbye, my beautiful souls. I hope that you keep making great music and stay safe.